name is Asmita Valiani and today I will be reading The Scavenger Hunt by Adit Nara. Lajul lives in a village on the banks of the river Kosi. She loves the rain, but this year the rains have been especially heavy. Laju is happy when the rain finally stops. Then, all of a sudden, the banks of the river break. In just a few minutes, the village is flooded with muddy water from the river. Laju is scared. We have to leave at once, cries Babu. Hurry, Lajo, we need to get to higher ground where we'll be safer. Lajo and her family wade through the water with great difficulty. With the help of some army men, they reach a hill where their neighbors have moved to. Oh no, I left my Guria behind, cries Lajo. She never goes anywhere without a doll. But Babu says that they can't go back until things are better. The next morning, Lajo asks if she can go find Guria. This time, Mai yells at her, Lajo, our home is under five feet of water. We are running out of drinking water and all you care about is a doll? Don't worry, Lajo, Guria will be fine, says Dazu. Shall we play a game? A game? says Lajo, brightening up. Yes, it's a scavenger hunt. You have to find all the items on the list. As soon as you do, I will show you something amazing. Lajo looks at Dadu's list. I'll start searching right away, she says, jumping with excitement. Lajo runs first to Mai. What is it, Lajo? asks Mai, sounding tired. If you are thirsty, I don't have any drinking water. No, Mai. Babu gave me a sip of water. I need a cotton cloth. Do you have one? Mai doesn't have a spare cloth, so she cuts a piece from her cotton sari. Here, take this. Lajo gives Mai a big hug. Babu helps Lajo find a bucket. She fills it with sand. Yay! Three things off my list. Lajo, I'm thirsty. Do you have some water? Asks her friend, Pratik. Sorry, Pratik. We finished all our water. That's okay, he says. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for gravel, says Lajo. Here, you can use that. Only two more things for Lajo to find. Then, Lajo goes to find the village carpenter. Fix a baba, fix a baba. May I borrow your hammer and hole punch? What is it for, Lajo? It's for a game I'm playing with Dadu, she says. A game? Who has time for games when the whole village is thirsty? Though he grumbles a little, he gives the tools to Lajo. Lajo lays out all the items in front of Dadu. Done, she says proudly. Dadu smiles and turns the bucket over. He makes a hole in it with the hammer and punch. Lajo watches eagerly as he places the cotton cloth at the bottom of the bucket. Then he pours fine sand over the cloth into the bucket. Lajo, will you help me fill the bucket with gravel? asks Dadu. Lajo helps Dadu pick out all the tiny stones and put them in a bucket. They then fill the bucket with larger stones. Dadu takes a bottle filled with muddy river water and pours it into the bucket. Why did you do that? Lajo asks, puzzled. Dadu just smiles. Not long after, clear water starts dripping down from the hole in the bucket. Dadu collects it in a glass. Lajo, we made a filter that changes muddy water into clean water, says Dadu. Go, give this glass of water to your Mai and Babu. Mai and Babu are overjoyed. They boil the water and drink it. Soon, Pratik, Fixer Baba, Mai and Babu surround the bucket. Great work, Lajo, they cheer. The next day, the army comes in boats laden with supplies for the flood survivors. Lajo's family is relieved. And in their boats is a special surprise for Lajo, her doll. Thank you.